Um, you know, I always, uh, first of all, Aslam Lakum, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Um, you know, oftentimes, as specifically as young people, but you know, it also extends to older or younger people as well. But most times, we look for, we look for the person to bring us peace or happiness into the house. And we know, you know, as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has not only taught us, but has demonstrated that it is not people or a person that can bring you peace besides God. You know, if you don't have God in the root of everything that you're doing, not only in your household, but when you're walking your 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 walking throughout the day, you know, outside on the job you know, wherever you may be, he starts with the understanding and the confidence and the faith of God. So if you don't have the faith of God, if you don't have the confidence in God to secure you into peace, then you will never be able to have peace in the home. So God is always the primary you are looking to be successful or to have peace or any type of happiness or abundance in your life. But next to God is wisdom. You have to have the wisdom in dealing with people, uh, you know, like the, the proper handling of people. You know, uh, we should study that not only in dealing with those who are go to the mosque, who may go to the church, who may go, who are, who may be on our jobs or whatever. But we have to study that for the people in our households as well. Our brother, our sister, our father, you know our wife, our husband, you know, we have to study that because in dealing with people, you have to use wisdom because you don't understand the circumstances. You don't fully understand the circumstances, which causes someone to do something that may not be pleasing to you. Uh, one instance, uh, one example I, I usually give is, you know, if somebody's mean mugging you on the street, you know, they walking past you and they, they just, you know, you, you're speaking to them with a positive spirit and whatnot, but they just, for some reason, they just can't bring themselves to smile or they just looking at you in a certain way. But that brother could have been put out of his home. That brother could have been, or that sister could have been put out of a home. They could have been assaulted earlier that day. They could have, they could have gone through a number of things. And if we deal with our people and our families with, with such immaturity that, if you if you do something that I don't like, then I'm gonna return like for like. That's that's not dealing with wisdom, you know. In the Bible, it says that we should be long suffering. We should be long suffering in dealing with each other and dealing with our people, because when you're long suffering and when you deal with our people with wisdom and deal with your family with wisdom, you can not only get to the root of the problem, but you can also solve that problem in uh, in that same hand.